On this episode of Organizing Ultra Zillas Toys, part two of Organizing the Backlog, we're probably gonna start out with filling that bottom shelf, which we emptied before. And also we can make room for new things. Well, we're not really making room for this because uh, this is a one and done review box gets thrown out and that's it you know it is what it is it's godzilla and uh, you know he he jumps the line sometimes unfortunately can't say that about everything and that's how this stuff happens because i am into so many things i'm not just into godzilla guys sorry uh <laughs> i'm into so many things but i can't get to them all because the channel would suffer if i did so i gotta mix everything in i think what i'm gonna do See, that is not the easiest spot to get into. Um, that's pretty hard too, but right now that's filled up. So I gotta get stuff there. And then what I gotta do is from the stuff that we worked on last time, which was here, I gotta take stuff from this area and get it here and, and just reorganize this in a way that makes sense. So what I think I'm gonna put there to start at least is kits because I feel like that's the stuff I'm getting to the least uh, for now. And I know there's a bunch of kits here. I don't know how many, but let's start there. So why do I buy kits if I'm not gonna uh, do them? I, you know what? I plan to do them at some point. Um, this is a Motoroid kit of uh, Shinkelly and Hayabusa. I bought this because I wanted it to go to with like, I wanted to make a snow Godzilla and I wanted uh, something that would kind of sort of scale. I don't know if this will. I think it will, but it was on sale. So this is that. another sale kit. And that's that's one of the reasons why I buy some kits because they kind of look really cool. I don't even know what this is. Um, this is uh, H Bandai HGX figure arts because there's a figure arts figure of that girl. But uh, and this guy, this robot turns into like a motorbike or something that goes around her. It's kind of cool. I don't plan to ever get the girl. But the kit was cool. So, you know. Uh, and it was super, super, super cheap. Whoa. Whoa. Box is falling. Empty boxes, thankfully. Now, this is something I really want to work on. You know, it could possibly be one of the next kits. This is the uh, Flame Toys Devastator. Would love to do it soon. So, you know, put it up like this. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Another awesome looking kit, the Gurren Lagan kit, which is exact same mold as their more like Gokany one. So that's really, really cool. But you know, just, I, I should have cleared this thing. So another Bandai kit, this is Mag Mag Magnasaurer. This is the second kit uh, in this series. And uh, I, I did, you know, I did build the first one, but I never reviewed it or do any like speed build with it. Um, so, you know, that's that that's a thing. Here's another couple of flame toys kits. This was the exclusive clear Optimus, which is kind of cool to me in this tin and stuff. I honestly don't think I'm going to keep this one. I'm, I might sell that one just because I also have this. <laughs> G1 version and uh, of the Optimus kits. Uh, I think I got that one on sale. So I don't know if I need two Optimus kits. I think one is more IDW. This is uh, from Bioman, BioRobo from Bioman. It's got two separate things here for that. Uh, this is from, this is Super Mini Plot, right? You know, before they, they, they switched over to being um smp so uh i gotta look for more kits now see if I, I i know i got more and i do and this is the uh hg getter arc kit uh i bought this instead of the the uh soul of chogo kin in hopes to you know build it and that's that and this is what i was gonna say that's part of this is the fact that you know Kits are way cheaper than buying um, buying figures sometimes. So, you know, I mean, you gotta save sometimes, especially 
for something like Getter Arc, which was the newer get, new Getter Arc from the new series. Don't really know much about it. Um, so that's why I kind of did that. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking how I'm stacking these right now, but. And this we found in the last organizing, the crayfish. So uh, I'm stacking them more like this because a lot of these kits, you know, open up weird. So I don't want like the contents falling out. Is that everything? There, where is, where's that giant Eva, Evangelion Mechagodzilla kit? That's gotta go. All right, there it is. Stacked in perfectly in that slot. I do have a lot more room here, but I think that's all the kits I have. If we find more, <laughs> we'll check them out further. But for now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one back there. Eleven kits. So you know, my backlog of you know model kits for a normal model kit builder probably isn't too bad, but for me. This is way too too much, uh, you know, uh, to have to build. I, I guess it could be worse. But yeah, you know, a lot of it is robots that, you know, you're not going to be able to get elsewhere. Uh, or, you know, the representation other than this would be really expensive. You know, or and there's some unique stuff like the crayfish, like that Mechagodzilla. Both Evas. Let me, I should move this over to that. But, you know, like this cool IDWS Flame Toys Devastator is awesome. You don't really see that too often. So, you know, th this stuff here that's really cool that I can't wait to build. Like this guy, maybe I shouldn't have bought, but I really like Sentinel's mold of this. And I don't have a version of that Gorin Login, so that's why I wanted it, you know. So, yeah. It is what it is. But hey, at least, at least the shelf is nice and neat. And I filled up the space uh, with my collection of uh, Tobop bo uh, boxes of, uh, you know, backlog stuff from Young Toys. Uh, Tubot. Tubot. It's Tubot, I believe. It's not Tobot. It's Tubot. My son would yell at me. Um, I think Master V is not in there. Like, that's the coolest one, but he combines with these three robots, which I'm not going to show you right now. Um, but it's, it's kind of like what you see in there, kind of sort of. Um, yeah, so, but they filled the space well, so I, I did that. You know, now that shelf is pretty much filled up. Go Soror. That was the, oh man, that was the series that Magnasaur was from. And uh, I did complete this one. You probably can see it on my Instagram. There he is. Just sit in here. Part is this guy. Maybe I should review this guy, huh? <laughs> I kind of don't want to split him apart because he does split apart. Um, but maybe I could just review him like this. Oh, his hand fell off. Um, like so. We'll see. We'll see. And I found this. So that guy was in here. And that brings up. Okay, this box is here of stuff I've reviewed. And I don't want that here anymore. That stuff that's gotta go in some form. That's just not good. You know what I'm saying? Like, this here is a little pile of boxes of stuff I reviewed. So let's get it out of here. Shall? Seriously, I just want stuff here that I've never reviewed and so I could see it better. That's the, the point. I can't believe I never reviewed this guy. Man, I've had so I've had a lot of this stuff for so long. Uh, Star Convoy. I should make a Transformers section. I see some Transformers around, so I should do that. Let me just move this guy over here for now. But, okay. I don't want to move everything off a section. What do we got here? Figure Arts Minis. The characters from this show is Raihai Gigan. That's right, that's what his name is. Uh, back arrow. So let's keep the back arrow stuff together. This should be this. Those three there. Oh, and here's the other one. Never reviewed these, uh, but I was watching the anime and it was really cool. Um, it really was. So these are 
all the main characters from it. But I got these all like super, super cheap, which was great. You know, really, really great. Maybe I could move this up to here. Robot spirits. Oh, okay. These are all robot spirits. Right? This is a robot spirits, isn't it? Isn't this robot spirits? Oh my gosh. Yes, robot spirits. Um, so, okay. That's good. Robot spirits, robot spirits. Do I have more robot spirits? I think I do. Wait a second. I got a good one right here. Over to Lupus, which I got for Christmas. It's metal robot spirits, but it's robot spirits. Here's another awesome robot spirits Gundam. Just leave that there. Yeah, I think that might be it with the robot spirits. Although there might be there an Evangelion one. I gotta check. Look at this old robot spirits I found. I did not pay that. I bought this for like ten bucks at a Midtown Comics uh, warehouse sale. I also moved over all my Gundam universes that I have to review so many. This guy, I'm gonna try to get into this space above that. Uh, so we'll do that, and uh, you know, we'll have a little section here of, you know, because the robot, uh, the Gundam Universe stuff, very similar to the Robot Spirits. Another kind of sister, <laughs> sister, um, project was the Armor Girls project. Another thing that I got for, like, ridiculously cheap, this was the original price, and Midtown Comics. Um, yeah, this is one of those things where I don't know if I'll ever review that, uh, so it might go on sale, I don't know. Um, yeah. Sometimes you buy stuff because it's on sale, you know, and uh, you end up <laughs> with a backlog. But I like how this is filling up, really filling up the shelves, consolidating everything is going to help. Got a lot of stuff, you know, that we found here as well. And we had a couple of high metal stuff from uh, Zabungle. Um, I don't know if this dude is actually in here, but I had never reviewed it, so, you know, and this one I got for ridiculously cheap. Over here, I got the four Infinity Force. These were super disappointing. Don't know if I'll ever review them. I don't know if I'll ever send them up. Possibly something I might sell. We'll see. Back there is a Voltron that's not on my shelf, actually. It is, uh, and it doesn't need to be because it's already there. It's a Playmates one, but this is the box set version of the classic Voltron. Um... I picked it up because it was cool that they released it in a box set. That was basically it. That's why I got it. Uh, and it was on sale. So, like, ridiculously cheap. Like, half the price I paid for uh, all the rest. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what I'll do with it. But, you know, it'll stay in the back of that uh, rack for now. Got more space here. To How about this robot from Konami? This is from, um, I forget which one it is called but it's that series that toho did uh kind of like a toku series i forget i don't know i'll look it up at one point but i'm gonna put that in there for now we got this chogokin uh from persona 5 Aegis. that could go here that's a good one and looking over here a lot of this stuff is soul of chogokin and the like so i want to keep those together on that side so, hmm, 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 we got some Transformers that I can see. Uh, some various robots. We'll see, we'll see what we're gonna add. Oh, how about this? Speaking of Chogokin, I wanna, I wanna get this guy reviewed soon, but look, for now, you know, for now, look at that. Fits in the space really well. Oh, what about, these were the Super 7s, um, Super Vinyls from uh, the Netflix series anime eden these are really really cool um i wanted to review that but you know what i never finished up uh the show like i think i had like one episode left <laughs> uh but i had picked these up because look how cool um they were on sale like around christmas time ridiculously cheap cheap at target like half off i believe so and there's like mini versions of them too so i definitely got to do uh it's probably just gonna be two reviews of these but you know right now look at this they're gonna fill up this space beautifully oh that's awesome wait uh i'm gonna have to do that without this was the bad guy of the series which they didn't make a big vinyl of um they just did a mini one of i don't know why i didn't make a big wait a second no okay this is just the mini vinyls i <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I thought it was a big one, but it's not. They, I don't, they never made a big one of uh, zero, which is a bummer. Okay, filled up perfectly. That's good. That's really good. That's two sections, neat and really filled. I got two Godzilla things here that I gotta get out of here. Ceramic mug and desktop figure, which was bad. Um, uh, I'm gonna be putting these guys on eBay for sure. So do stay tuned for that. Link is down below. Thanks. So I did find one robot spirits Evangelion, um, but now I have no room here. So I guess I'll put it with the Evangelion stuff, which I guess we'll do. So next. what do we got here? We got metal build, which just has the box with stuff in it. Um, with like all the accessories, which is a lot. And never did review this guy. The Dyna Action. Never did re review that big guy. The uh, Robo Do. Never reviewed that guy. And then, oh, yep, we have another Robot Spirits. So two Robot Spirits. And then two Revoltech. This is the Shinkalian one. And this was the one, uh, what was this one called? That one, uh, which I had to get a replacement part for. Um, so, yeah, not great. Oh boy. All right, so let's do that. And then let's do this. Okay. So that's pretty much everything. For though that section, got a little more room here, which we do have Macross. I don't have anything else Macross, so I guess that could stay. That's fine. Some Sevinger. I did just have the box. Um, all right, so let's see what else we well, got. Well, not completely true because we have the fast pack that we have to put together. So there's oh, that. another Robot Spirit. So. I feel like I should move some stink from here and put it there and then put this there. This stuff is a little bit like playing Tetris, um, which is fun, which is fun. Move these two over here for now. I mean, it is what it is. Um, and you know, that's, that's how all this shook out. So, all right, all right, we got three done. I think we're gonna tackle this mess next. So to start over here, we got a box of accessories. And then we got this dude, robot. We got Dia Battles here, which has got to go back on the shelf. I don't know how to get here. Uh, and the Lego Super Robot. Well, maybe maybe we'll come up back up with me to the apartment since I'm working on Lego uh, Optimus right now. Do check out uh, my, my Instagram for all of that. We have Behold Galvatron, which has to get out of the way because I'm not going to put um, Transformers over here. Got a box of Voltron stuff, which I believe belongs to all of the Fantasy Jewel stuff. Which I never finished reviewing. I started that review. And we got some straight up figures and I have a lot of these. This is Kenshiro in the box wrong. Maybe this is what this is gonna be. We have a common Rider. We have one of these Godzilla things, but he's also the other little guy. Ninja Batman, Ninja Joker. Then a bunch of Ultraman Rosso and Blues I never reviewed. And a couple of Ultra Action figures I haven't reviewed. So I think this section is gonna be stuff like this. It would work well to go into this stuff, so I gotta see what else is around. A couple of Gridman, they're like partially reviewed. Oh, another Transformer, old Skybite that I got on eBay. So that's gonna go in a different section. Oh, Krang is here. So I'm gonna have to have some bigger boxes behind. Now, I do have a bunch of, like, domestic figures. Um, let's... Like the Krampus, who I'll, I'll get around to around Christmas time um, this year. I know there's a new one coming out, but that's okay. Um, what do we got here? Super 7 Metalhead. There should be a NECA Metalhead around here, too, somewhere. That I'll try to get on this shelf. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start working on this shelf. 
maybe imports in front, domestic in back, depending on how big the boxes are. Let, let, let's see what we could bring All up. Right, I haven't finished this yet, but here's where we're at. We found uh, a Rockman, Mega Man, anniversary thing. Um, we added a couple of Revoltex, Good Smile Company thing back there, Mattel Creations, Bad Robot thing, Pizza Monster, which I do want to review soon. A couple of more Mezcos back there. I got a little more room and then I got room on top. I mean, I got room in between too, so I, I don't know. I don't really like how this is forming because it's the boxes are all over the place. Um, so that's gonna be bad as far as like, you know, seeing stuff. Granted, I also have room back there, you know, kind of, sort of. So I, I don't know, um, but it is good. I do have some Storm Collectible stuff here. I do have a Transformer thing back there. So I don't know if that's going to stay back there right now or what. Another Mythic Legions thing that I could move there. <sighs> Boy, there's a lot of stuff, guys. I have no idea what's back there. There's two levels. That's annoying. So, you know, I'm clearing out this shelf, though, so far. If you guys saw my... Instagram, I talked about the uh, Eldrador creatures, and this is the one that's in my backlog that I want to review. So maybe I'll I'll I'll, I'll work on that. Um, back here is a bunch of a uh, Masters of the Universe 2000 X, whatever it was called, um, figures that I bought off a friend a few years back. Oh, something fell over. Uh, um, so yeah. I got those. I don't think I'm going to move those from where they are. They're being held up by a Power Rangers thing. So I do know I have some Power Rangers. Here is a, a head. Um, I do know I have some Power Rangers to, to bring over. So I'm Found this dude. dude. Found that dude. Um, consolidated this a little more. It, I, I mean, right? Consolidation is, is, is the name of the game here. So we just got to consolidate as best as possible. I want to put the storm stuff in here as well i think that'll be good. well not quite the neatest thing i did and getting back there is gonna be not great but i don't know i, I much prefer these guys to be away because i have no plans of reviewing them anytime soon uh or ever i don't even know that's the problem that's the problem will i review everything i don't know uh but you know i put these two neckers over here for now they are gonna be reviewed soon because that's part of my halloween thing with this guy and now now i think transformers will start maybe going over here since i already have one big thing back there superion i guess from combiner wars never quite you know took those out I, I don't know what i'm doing here but uh yeah i think i'll start bringing some transformers stuff here but we'll tackle that in the next installment of organizing ultra zillas toys because uh you know we've gone on enough uh, for this particular one, hope you've dug it. This little, uh, you know, mini series within the series. Organizing the backlog is something that's really, really important to me right now because I really need to see what needs to be reviewed and how much I have. Kind of a slap in the face to myself and uh, a realization that, man, I do not need to buy that much more right now. You know, obviously I'm still getting stuff, but it's a lot less and I really want to make a dent in this stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you support all the stuff that is going on on the channel, all the reviews. Please watch something that you might not have, you know, thought about watching or purchasing or collecting, you know, to su help support Ultrazilla, the Ultrazilla Toys channel, a channel that I'm assuming you enjoy since you're here, right? So uh, do support me that way. That would be really cool. And if you could like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.